the console kit comes, you do get a little leaflet on the back that you just, I guess, pull off. So I'm just going to do that now. It does also come with pieces of plastic covering the product, I guess, so that you don't, I don't know, get it all mixed together and get cream product everywhere. <laughs> And it also comes with the names of each colour on the sheet of plastic, so it would be a good idea to probably keep this. So there is the inside of the palette without the plastic. So as you can see, you get all of your cream products on this side here. And on the other side, you get a mirror and you get two brushes. So I'm going to pull the brushes out and see what they feel like. The brushes actually feel really soft, um, so that is, I guess, a really good first impression of those. They don't feel like cheap or anything like that. They actually feel quite good quality. So I am going to use, I'll probably use these brushes to apply the products and then use other brushes to actually blend the products out. At the moment, I've got my foundation on. I've got the Cogendo Aqua foundation on. And I also have some concealer on underneath my eyes and a little tiny bit down my forehead, my nose, and my chin, um, and that is the Maybelline Master Conceal. Just because my under eyes were quite dark and I wanted to clean up the edge of my eyeshadow, but I am still going to use the highlight shades from this. So I think I'm going to give the light yellowy shade a go. So I'm just gonna pick some of that up. I'm gonna see how I go applying it with the small concealer brush from the kit and then blending it out with a different brush. First initial thoughts on that application is that it's not crazily pigmented and it's not really, I guess you'd say oily, I guess. I'm just going to take some underneath where my contour is going to be. And then to apply contour shades, I'm going to use the bigger brush. And I think I'm going to try the two darker contour colours. That one's really, really warm. This one's really, really dark and cool toned. I might start off with the more warm toned shade. That's very warm toned. Just gonna take a skinny foundation brush. This is a Real Techniques pointed foundation brush with the same color. Just do the edges of the nose. And then I might add a tiny bit of the darker contour right in those hollows. Okay, so I think to blend out the highlight, I'm going to use this Morphe G6 flat buff buffer brush. I'm just going to start pressing it in. It is blending really easily. And then to blend the rest of the contour out, I'm going to use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I hope that this doesn't look orange. Just going to add a tiny little bit of the both of the contour shades underneath my bottom lip. And I'm just going to make sure that all the edges are blended. So that is how it looks on its own without being set with anything. I actually don't mind it at all. It's a lot more blendable than I expected it to be. Um, so I'm very impressed with how blendable it is. 
very impressed with the pigmentation of the contour shades they are incredibly pigmented the highlight shade is not quite as pigmented but I suppose if you use concealer then I guess you don't really need to have a really pigmented highlight and I also feel like it's really hard to get cream highlight shades right like I feel like not many brands are able to do it so for a very affordable palette I don't you know think that that's a big issue so I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup now and then I will come back and give you guys my final thoughts and review on the palette so I've just done the rest of my makeup and everything else that I put on laid on top really nicely. I had no issues whatsoever actually, so I am very impressed. So I love the packaging of this. I think it is very sleek and very much um, kind of like a high-end product, I would guess you would say. It has that NARS packaging feel. Everyone, I guess, knows what you're talking about when you say that. It's that like kind of rubberized feeling um, and it's all black and kind of like a squishy I know it's not really squishy but it's just a little bit squishy and I like how it says what the product is in gold foil writing it's pretty compact considering it's an entire contour palette to be honest you get a large mirror two brushes and two four six eight contour colors so considering how much you get it is quite compact I mean it's probably not the best for travel but considering how much is in here it probably wouldn't take up much room so as for the cream products themselves I do think they are quite good quality for a drugstore product I do think they could be a little bit more creamy and maybe a tiny bit more pigmented for the highlight shade as I said before it doesn't really bother me because I am more inclined to use a concealer that's quite pigmented and light and use that to highlight my face anyway. And you can always modify it. You can use Fix Plus on your brush. You can use a couple of drops of oil, like any kind of beauty oil would work. Jojoba oil, rosehip oil, any of those kind of oils. A couple of drops in the product and mix it around a bit and I am thinking that it would give it much more of a creamy consistency which I think would be a suitable option for people with more dry skin so the price point I believe it's only $25 which is absolutely like so affordable I I'm very very impressed I did just have a thought that this may be a Christmas limited edition and Christmas is over I really hope it's not um, but I'm still gonna post this video regardless because I'm sure that some people did get their hands on it and maybe wanted an opinion I guess from someone else or something like that so regardless I'm still gonna post it and it might still be available um, it just may not be available everywhere, but I'm sure you could probably hunt one down. So yeah, I don't think that you would use every single colour in the palette as an individual, but I do think if you were a makeup artist or a freelancer that this is probably going to be a nice product to use. I would, however, recommend because it is a cream product, you never, ever, 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 ever want to use on a client a product like this that you've just dipped a brush in and painted it straight on the client's face because that is contaminating your product you want to for example grab the end of a clean makeup brush scrape some product out onto the back of your hand or onto a palette and then work off of that you do not want to work straight from the palette if you are doing other people's makeup just a little tip so I do think, yeah, this would be very handy to have as it would suit many people's skin tones and it would probably work as a concealer. I don't think it's going to be as high coverage as a regular concealer, but if you have just someone who doesn't really need much concealing or if it's for yourself and you don't need much concealing, I think this would be absolutely fine. I guess those are my thoughts on this palette and my little demo. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys and helped you decide whether or not you'd like to get this or gave you tips on how to use it. So yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a like for me. It helps me out a lot and lets me know what kind of videos you guys like. 
and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!